Until recently, non-invasive research into the development of the human fetus has been restricted to analysis of stillborn specimens or what can be gleaned from grainy two-dimensional ultrasound scans. But now, this area of exploration has been revolutionized with the development of three-dimensional scans and even more remarkably, 3D scans which move in real time, known as 4D scans. Oh look! Golly, wow, yeah? See the hand in front of the face. For obstetricians, this tool is the equivalent of the Hubble Space Telescope, making it possible for the first time to open a window on the womb and see babies growing before our eyes. These images show the incredible range of behavior that even a very young fetus is capable of. Obstetricians can directly observe how the fetus grows, behaves, reacts to stimulation, and how its reflexes help it prepare for birth and for survival outside the womb. Professor Campbell is a world-renowned pioneer of these new scans and is responsible for taking these incredible images. This scan shows a 30-week fetus yawning. And this one, a 32-week fetus playing with its nose. These 4D images are some of the earliest ever taken of a fetus in the womb. This is an embryo of just six weeks. The fetus is on the left, and the yolk sac, still bigger than the fetus, is on the right. Here, an embryo of just eight weeks, less than three centimeters long, is making its first movements. As well as checking the health of the baby, this scan gives the first opportunity to determine if you are pregnant with one baby, or two, or more. Multiple births run in families. If your mother's family has a history of non-identical twins, then you are far more likely to have twins yourself 